Hey everyone, it's been a little bit since I've done a review, so here's what we've been up to lately. We swathed some millet that we had. That's me. Hi. <laughs> um, I'm sitting in that swather, but the other swather is out there somewhere in that field, so I'm going to go find him so I can get some video. Okay, so there he is swathing. Um, you can kind of see that this stuff is a little brown on the tops. Um, that millet just got a little frost nipped on the top, but it was really green and nice underneath, so it worked out good. If you want to see more hang videos, you can check out some of our older YouTube videos. This was our last pass in the Swathers for hang season 2022. Hang season went pretty well. We did have a couple breakdowns. We finished up soybean harvest. Um, I did not get a lot of video of this because I can only be in so many places at once. And they did a lot of soybean harvest while we were doing um, some cattle stuff. So I missed a lot of that. I know I have some of our dirt working videos and things that we've done in some of my older videos. This is just something we've been working on here and there in between harvest, uh, adding some culverts and building up some roads. Of course, we did some fencing because if you have cows, there's always fence to fix. This is Proso millet that we combined. This was our first year ever combining this millet. This field was supposed to be a field of soybeans, but once that got hailed out, we planted this millet in its place. Um, and for our first year doing it, it worked out pretty well. This millet will probably be used for bird feed, but millet like this can also be used for gluten-free bread options and beer. So now jumping back to the other kind of millet, pearl millet, this is the millet that we were swathing earlier in the video. So we had a couple fields of pearl millet that we hayed. We had a bunch of potatoes that we needed to dig up before the frost, so the kids helped dig up all of those potatoes. We hauled a bunch of hay home to make our silage pit. So that's the silage pit almost complete. You can kind of see the old one to the left. That was last year's silage pit. It has some tires and an old grain bag used to cover it. I do have a video on our YouTube channel that is just for corn chopping. It shows a lot more of this footage. It is kind of cool if you want to check that out. So this is what the pit looks like when it's ready for silage. The black tarps in there are actually old grain bags that we used from harvest the previous year. Um, and that's kind of what it looks like finished. We're just doing the final packing on there and that's what it looks like covered with the old tires and grain bag. We preg checked a few different groups of cows. Um, we bring a portable corral out to the different pastures. It's it's a quick and easy way to work a bunch of cows in different pastures within the same day. And then we bring home any groups that do need to come off of the pasture and we work them at home in the corral. So some groups are home right now being fed every day and other ones are still out on pasture. Some of these will get to go out again when we have the corn harvested and they can go out and graze some corn fields. We fix some more fence. Now that soybean harvest is complete, we clean up the headers and put them away so we can get ready for corn harvest. Here we are just making some adjustments on the corn header. 
We are on week two of corn harvest now, so you will get more of that in my next video. But if you want to see more content, you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram. I try to post a little more often on there. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to check out our website.